you've heard the term the age of Aquarius so much, I'm sure, and you've heard the song. And anytime I even hear the song, I turn it off, believe it or not. <laughs> I don't like the song much. <laughs> it's like, really annoying, in my opinion. It's just so, like, it feels like a 60s rendition of, like, bring all the dancers, you know what I'm talking about? Like, age, you know, like, have you ever been to Small World after all? Yeah. It's like that, where that, that's like the creepiest ride I've ever been on, because, like, in my opinion, the age of Aquarius is cool. If you know an Aquarius, like Ashton Kutcher or anybody, they come up with something new and innovative. They don't like cheese it out, you know? So it's too cheesy for that. And the age of Aquarius is about what? If we understand Aquarius, it's about innovation, change. It's about knowledge though. Aquarius is a sign about true knowledge. So what that age means that we're stepping into, and I could break down exactly how to understand why we're in the age of Aquarius, but I'm sure you guys can trust me and just let me tell you that we are. But it's just beginning this age of true knowing. Before this age was the age of Pisces. Is there any Pisces in the house? Oh, I love Pisces. <laughs> Pisces are my favorite because you're never going to have an issue with them. In, uh, seriously. Like, it's just like the best girlfriends I ever had, Pisces. It's just like, God, it's just so easy. It's just like, I need to find a problem. There's no problems now. It's like, too perfect. It's so easy. Go with the flow. Because they represent, Pisces represents the way that the water flows, spirituality, and higher dimensional consciousness. It's, it's much more of a, oh, relax, just let it go, you know? But the age of Pisces that we've been in is exactly that. Okay, just let it go. I don't know what's going on, but just kind of go with it, dude. They say that, that everybody's into this thing called Christ, or, oh, they say it's Judaism, or, uh, I don't know, dude, what is it? What are you into? Demonic? Satanism? Okay, I guess that's what you're into. <laughs> everybody's just flowing by. That's my opinion of it. If you really think about it, it's like, oh yeah, you're into that? That's great, nice. <laughs> but now everybody's like, okay, well, what are you into? I want to know more about that. I want to know more about that. That's what Aquarius does. I need to get all the information and give myself the biggest epiphany of all fucking time. Part of my French, but... <laughs> if you know an Aquarius, they, they, don't, they, don't, they don't do well when it's just floating by. It's a fixed sign. If you understand Aquarius, under, uh, Aquarius always is a fixed sign, which means it's in the middle of the season. So that's why January 20th to February 19th is Aquarius, because it's in the middle of winter. And any sign in the middle does not let go of things. It's like, I own this, I hold this, and I'm gonna just stay on this, and I'm not gonna let it go. And Aquarian times is about us finding what we're gonna hold on to, because we don't know what we're holding on to. One minute it's, kitchens with you know red and blue and and old tile and 50 betty crocker the next minute it's like nope we want innovation and change we're always constantly changing so much but now this is a time where we really need to lock into some things because the change has happened for so long now that it's just like we're just kind of like human you don't know what humanity is if, if aliens were to look at us it'd be like so those humans what are they like it's like well i don't know how to really say it but they're these crazy little like people that change costumes like every decade and, and turn into crazy weird people and change their lingos and change, everything changes. You know, it's like, if you think about aliens, it's always their constant, right? It's always like, oh, these are them. You know, like we could, you know, it's like they're, they're, they're these people with these big eyes and that's them. But humans, it's like, oh, Mr. Potato Head here, okay, and there's that guy, and he's got that crazy hair, but I think that's what shows how beautiful humanity is. It's about the self-expression of the uniqueness of who you are. And that's what astrology is, and that's what Aquarius is. But it's about knowing what to do with it, to serve. Aquarius is the water bearer. It needs to serve. It needs to help everybody else out. And this is a time of true needing everybody to help each other out and help each other with knowledge instead of being like, oh, well, I'm a Satanist and you're that and so whatever. You know, it's like, oh, well, I'm into this. Let me help and share. Let me, you want to know this too? Let me, why don't you tell me about this? You know, now that's what's so beautiful about the internet, which came with Uranus and Aquarius for the last 12 years, right? True innovation, connection. You know, the, it's time for humanity to come together and find that uniqueness and kind of stick to a great uniqueness. Find a reason why we're humans. So when we go to other planets, we're like, see, remember us, we're humans. Opposed to like, well, everybody's changing constantly. You're like, we don't know who the representative's gonna be. It's like, 
Should we bring that guy or that guy? Like, you have to see that humans need to find out who they are now. Because they're so, humanity's lost. Nobody knows where it's going. We, you know, it's, the, the, we're gonna find out this age, what we are, what we're here to do. And it's gonna come through you finding your uniqueness and finding a way to connect and how that can connect with everybody, opposed to being so singular and like going your own way. There's a, there's a, there's a direction that you're gonna have to go in a way that connects with everybody now you know, and, and, and learns to, you know, find that connection. It's, it's, like re, it's like required. It's like the universe won't make it easy on you, I feel, now. Like, unless you're trying to connect or unless you're trying to do something new. And I've, I've, I'm sure you guys know I do a lot of readings. Like, it's become very tiring, and so that's why it's nice to be out on the road. But I'm helping a lot of people transitioning with technology issues. Believe it or not, it's a very hard issue because if you just look at the next five years, unless you like know how to plug in 15 cameras and a cell phone and da 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 da, you won't even be able to turn on your kitchen sink. And I feel like if you see that spiritually and how that relates, if you're not evolving your soul or constantly engaging in this evolutionary process and learning more and accelerating as fast, because Aquarius is fast, it's lightning bolt there's going to be some issues. And so we're going to go kind of deeper into this today. Is am I going too fast, by the way? I just, I know we don't have much time and I just want to just blah, you know? <laughs> well, this is kind of off subject, but another part of what this new age is, is this new divine feminine coming in, which I think is beautiful because even in a man, I got to find my feminine, you know, I know how to do my hair, so. <laughs> I found my divine feminine, you know? But the beautiful aspect of this is it's time for women to really rule and show us the way. It really is. I mean, if you just look at what guys have done, <laughs> we got great houses out of it and we got great technology and we got some great things. But imagine now if the feminine energy in all of us took that masculine and combined it in an equal opportunity, we're going to change. I got goosebumps because it's so beautiful. And that's what this is about. That's why women are on the rise right now. That's why half this room is filled with women or men that are very in touch with their feminine side. Because when you connect both, that's the power of the world. And that's Aquarian too, which the double squiggly lines, right? Have you ever seen Aquarius? Right? Well, why is that? It's when you as an individual and humanity learn to come together. It's when a male and a female learn to come together. That's connection, right? I don't know what that looks like now, but. <laughs> but you know, um, <laughs> sorry, it's like two, see, it's two doves flying away in Denver, Colorado on a beautiful day. <laughs> but you know, there's an aspect of that's, <clears throat> that's where life's at now. We have to come together. We have to bring our feminine side and our masculine side together. And this divine feminine is so beautiful because uh, that, that's what's lacking in men now. And I hate to say it, you know, like, and I think that I feel bad for the women. They're having a hard time finding dudes out there that got that side. <laughs> right? Am I right or wrong? Right. Right. And I feel that, uh, that this time is about that. And I feel that what I do, I feel like I'm a representative of the men who's like passing the baton to the women. Like, see, there is a guy who knows and he's trying to, here you go. You know, like, go take it. Because I feel like men are kind of not wanting to fall off the horse. They're like, no, we haven't finished this yet, and I know I'll get it right. And, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like, no, 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 five more minutes. <laughs> and that's kind of this weird age we're in. The end of, uh, I am horrible at drawing, by the way. That's why I never became a drawer in school. That's why I was into history. Um, well, I think it's time to transition. I don't think it's about letting go completely, but I think, you know, if you ever see signs and how they're all broken up, right? We're at what we call a cusp. Who's a cusp baby here? <laughs> Being born on a cusp means you're born in between. So you're kind of like in both. You're kind of salsa and you're kind of guac. <laughs> I like both. I'm not afraid to do both. So, 
if we look at the transition right now of where we're at galactically shifting at this new point, because even though we showed the slide, is that the one I want to go to? Oh yeah, even though we showed the slide, okay, this is great. We made it to the line. We made it. Think about how long it took to get to that damn line. 6,000 years. So, or actually 12,000 years from the last time it was at the line. So think about this. Okay, moving into the line and like moving past it's going to take a long damn time. You know what I'm talking about? Because it's not like, okay, we got on the line and then we're going to keep going. It's like, no, 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 no. Welcome to the line. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And if you just look at time, it's like, Welcome to the line. <laughs> so, but how beautiful to even be at the line. That we're, that's what we're living at. That's what consciousness is. If you just look at, I mean, look at these mountains I drove through today. I was like, okay, that didn't happen in 10 days, you know? Yeah. Like, that's where you mix science too with like truth, you know, like in spirituality. It's like, you know this is right, but the science is, well, yeah, that did take millions of years. That didn't take seven days. So, you know, that's where I think this new, your, Aquarian age is, which there is no religion. Because if we say it's a religion, then we're all screwed because we're all locked into something. And there needs to be always freedom to get all views constantly and shine in all directions. And that's what Uranus, or Uranus is, and more importantly, Aquarius, because it needs freedom. And there needs to be the freedom in our lives to all move. And in men, they need to have the freedom to still do their man thing. You just can't say, no, you can't be a man anymore. Now go in the kitchen, make me some food. It's my turn. <laughs> Which women would never do because they know. They've already got this already embedded in them. I feel like every woman on the planet came with a secret spiritual chip to go, okay, I know I got to help the earth and help all these dudes get on this place. <laughs> All right, it's like pre-built in every woman. I swear, there's some that just like threw that chip out. Get that thing out of me, you know? But I believe that. But okay, going back to the cusps, we're in that in-between state. It's kind of weird. We're there, but we're not. I'm a cusper, I'm a Leo Cancer, so that's why I'm really dramatic, but I got that really intense cancer emotion behind it, you know? So there's an element of we're there, but we're in the, uh, the waiting room. So we're at the doctor's office, but you know, we're like, give me the golf digest, please. You know, <laughs> you don't got that? Oh, shit. <laughs> like, and so that's exciting. Or I don't want to use doctor's office because I hate doctor's offices. That scares the crap out of me. I think that, you know, we're at, we're at our big celebration and we're in the line of the celebration and it's moving and we're getting entrance there and we can see inside. I've used this analogy a couple times in horoscopes, but you know, we're, oh, we're there, you know, oh, I smell it. You know, I see it and I taste it. That's, that's the in-between. Cause you're kind of in what's called no man's land. Where the universe has now entered no man's land, which is moving forward. But this no man's land is so weird that, you know, it can be a little difficult to navigate. And that's where we're going to kind of help everybody out here and navigate it here. So, so I think there's one slide before this. Yes. The Pluto Uranus square. Have you, has everybody heard about this? I think I talk about it every week.